How's it going everybody? Landon here with TBS. Very excited about this episode of Truck Boss Show. As always, next to my dear friend Isela. Hey guys, how's it going? Thanks for joining us. Hey, be a part of this conversation. Like, comment, share. You want to stay tuned because we're talking everything GBATS because it was our first time there. It was. We actually had an amazing time. So big shout out to Chrome Shop Mafia. Thank That's you right. for everything, Brian, guys. the founder and the owner of fourstatetruck.com. Go check them out. They did an incredible job when it comes to customer appreciation. It yeah. was really cool. Their 10-year anniversary right there in Joplin, Missouri. It was just a lot of fun. No, that was awesome, though. We got to celebrate with them the 10 years. And we have a lot of good, interesting um, things to talk about. That's right. Well, let's get right into it. <laughs> let's go for it. You know, we want to start off with, you know, what's the most enjoyable thing that you took away from the event? Let's start with that one. Well, my favorite thing is, of course, the autism tank, the dunk yeah, tank. That was big. One, one throw, one time, got it done. I knocked them. Yes, you did. You know, I tried about 16 throws, zero, nothing. I had to push the button like a little kid. No big deal. <laughs> still a lot still of fun. Went. We you gave went. some money and helped raise. How much money right. did they raise for the autism? Oh, my We're God, I think it was second. over, over $6,000. It was incredible. A few companies came together, over 6000 raised for autism. It was just a lot of fun. My favorite takeaway, it was a toss-up between rodeo and the burnouts. The but awesome. the burnouts, really, I just love seeing those big rigs. All the smoke, all the people yelling, the kids around it was really Oh cool my to gosh, see. it was so much fun. Yeah, I mean, just for everything that they did and all for it to be free, yes. just incredible. And, and just, it's a family event. You know, really you is. bring the family, everybody really talked amazing things about GBATS, and we got to experience firsthand this year, and we really liked it. You know, you mentioned the rodeo. The rodeo was one of our favorite. It, it was. was. Just, it was it's very crazy interesting. stuff. I don't know yes. if we've got some videos that we want to throw in the comment thread, but hey, if you were there at GBATS 2018 in Joplin, comment, throw some pictures. Let us know that uh, your favorite experience because we want to hear from you. Uh, we've got a lot more to talk about, so let's keep going real quick. Isela, well, one of the things that was great, you mentioned that we talked a little bit about autism. Michael A. Manuel in an autistic truck. Talk a little bit about that. That was really cool. Well, um, Michael's story is pretty interesting. He actually has a daughter who is autistic. Mm -hmm. And because of her, he felt like, you know, let's spread the awareness. There's a lot of people who still to this day are not really familiar with what right. autism stands for. And so they go around spreading the word. He's actually had his truck in Washington, D.C. He was at the Capitol this year a few months back. That's right. With the president himself. That's right. Highlighting what his incredible truck looks like as well as the awesome cause as they travel from show to show, show. Raising, raising funds and awareness. Funds. That's right. So and I think that's a pretty amazing thing that he does. That the truck is amazing. It's beautiful. And it's also, I mean, they work t together with Chrome Shop Mafia. That's, that's right. Who actually and that truck. truck is amazing. It's amazing. There is not one detail left out of it. From the nose to the back of the trailer, it's just gorgeous. The cabin is also, uh, the blankets, everything, puzzles. Love and it was it. all the brainchild of Michael himself. Yes. He worked closely with Brian and, and his Pro Shop Mafia team, put mm -hmm. together the truck. So Google autistic truck, mm -hmm. Michael Emanuel. You'll see pictures of this. It's just beautiful. Oh, it's awesome. I loved it. G-Bats was the most, one of my it top was. favorites. And so I love it. Just a shout out to G-Bats and the entire team for spotlighting Michael and his incredible cause. Great job, guys. That's, well, and speaking of incredible cause, um, G-Bats had their special uh, Olympics truck convoy. That's right. They also Big, raised convoy, a lot incredible. of money. Last year they had about 400 trucks in this convoy that literally took over downtown Joplin. How many trucks they had this year? This year they had 522 <laughs> trucks. Can you imagine your hometown, 522 trucks, horns ablazing, coming down Main lights, Street. everything. They shut down the lights of Main Street and they turn on the lights of the truck and just have one big awesome concert and party and just a That's safe right. family event as well. That's it's just right. Incredible. We missed it, to be very honest with you. We can't wait to get back and see this firsthand. Yeah, but next next time we're going to stay the whole thing, I mean, the whole event. We're that's gonna right. The Go to their social sites that when it comes to Chrome Shop Mafia, you'll see some incredible pictures. They did a great job capturing and so many other organizations that were there. There's a ton, a ton of pictures and videos that you can see if you happen have to miss it. Plus, you can go to our fan page when it comes to our live videos and see those awesome videos yourself. We did over, what, 14 episodes we did over of Truck Boss Show. Sorry for the technical difficulty. We're live, as you know, no big <laughs> deal. We're going to knock it, it out. Happens. Nikki, our producer, is just taking care of us, as always. She got it. <laughs> so let's get back to when it comes to this incredible cause. How much money did they raise? Well, they raised more than $190,000, which wow. is awesome. Um, they were great, too. We got to see them. They were so the most beautiful people. I remember we were walking mm -hmm. by. One of them says, hi, I'm with the Special Olympics. Exactly. And I mean, it was the sweetest thing, but it was like, It was cool as they gave them the stage yes. at the convoy to say thank you to all the truckers and yes. their families for giving. Everybody that was part of the convoy donated in some fashion. And what was the largest donation? $18,000. Eighteen grand. That is That's just awesome. So who, and I know there's Robin Anderson of the Southern Missouri Special Olympics. She had so much great things, so many great things to say she about did. this event. And so I know 
On behalf of everybody at TBS, just a huge thank you to you for being a part of a great cause. If you want to be a part of it, Google uh, Southern Missouri Special Olympics and you'll get some more information. Yes, Robin said some beautiful things. I have to do say it. They are probably, right. she said about truckers, she said they are probably the most generous and kind-hearted group of people I know. They are compassionate, involved in the program, and they genuinely care about athletes and what they can do for them. That's absolutely so, true. So, big thanks to you guys. That's right. So that was GBAS 2018. Man, we were pumped. It was our first time. So much to take away. We only can highlight so much in the Truck Boss Show today. You have to be but there to experience We can't wait to see because TBS is working hard. We've got some incredible things that we're looking to do with GBAS in the, in, when That's it comes right. to the next uh, awesome show that they're going to be putting on. Either right now it's in 2020, but we'll see what happens. You never know what's going to happen. You never know. Uh, and TBS wants to be part of it in a big way. So as more information comes, we're going to let you know. You definitely want to stay tuned for that. That's right. You don't want to miss that. That event is one of the most awesome, amazing, and we loved it. So, Brian, very humble, your entire amazing team, people. Love incredible. it. Incredible. Thank you, incredible guys. Great time. Thank you so much for everything. Hospitality is amazing. Oh, but amazing. That show was awesome. We've got another great show we're going to next week. We, we can't wait to be live on site with another special edition of the Truck Boss Show. That's right. So Truck Boss always likes to go where the fun is at. And this time we're going to go to the National Hot Rod Diesel Association event. That's Can you believe it? Yeah, that's I'm excited. I hope you're excited. If <laughs> yeah. you've ever been there, let us know. Comment, like, be that's a part right. of this conversation. This is going to be our first time as well. I know. Our first time that's going to go. So this is going to take place in Ennis, Texas at the um, Texas Motorplex. So we're super excited about that one. Let's see. Kind of fun we're gonna have yeah, out so there. if you can't be there, as always, Truck Boss Show, the street team, we're, we're going to bring the event to you live uh, through all the shows that we're going to be launching there live on site Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or Friday, Saturday? It's I only going to be Friday and Saturday, Friday, which is Saturday. October the 12th and the 13th. So a lot of fun. You definitely want to stay tuned for that. That's and right. we're okay. actually doing something brand new here with the Truck Boss Show. As we close the shop here on today's episode, we're about to launch an incredible interview on our fan page that we want you to see. It's a great interview with an owner operator. His name is Travis. He has a beautiful wife. We got to awesome meet people. them. We got to meet them in Joplin. Beautiful truck. Yes. Was it their first time? It was their first time there as well. Yes. So we want you to see this interview. As we all, as you guys know, we're always going behind the scenes with trucker interviews, telling their story as they're doing life on the road just like you. So you want to see that on our fan page right after this show. So stay tuned for that. That's right. And well, I'm going to communicate to my Hispanic crowd out Absolutely. there, with my la Latinos. De lo que estamos hablando el día de hoy en el programa de Talk Truck Boss, eh, si ustedes no se dieron cuenta la semana pasada estuvimos en el evento de G-Bats. G-Bats se llevó a cabo en Joplin, eh, Missouri. Un evento muy, muy troqueros. Entonces, viene muchísima gente, el evento es gratis, es familiar, tienen demasiado que dar y hacer y recaudar fondos. Una de las causas para que recaudan fondos ellos es para autismo con el señor uh, Manuel A. Eh, perdón, Michael Manuel. Y él, en lo que hace recauda fondos, también igual, bueno, este, educar a lo que es el autismo. También lo que también tuvieron fueron eh, las olimpiadas eh, para las personas discapacitadas, que también recaudaron fondos, más de 190, tuvieron un desfile de camiones que este año rompieron récord, tuvieron 500, eh, perdón, 522 troques que estuvieron, los troqueros hicieron algo tan bonito, un evento muy bonito que de hecho, muchísimas gracias para ellos y esperamos que no se lo vaya a perder para el siguiente año que vayamos y nosotros es recomendado llevar a la familia se la van a pasar muy bien eh, igual, agradecimiento para ustedes que siempre andan en la carretera y hacen todo lo posible por nosotros y bueno, hablando de eventos ahora nos vamos a ir porque esta semana que viene vamos a estar en lo que se llama el eh, National Hot Rod Diesel Association. Right. Estaremos allí. I like that. I know. I'm there. And you're there. I'm excited. I'm following along. It's great. <laughs> Vamos a estar el, el 12 y el 13 de octubre. Es va a ser también igual nuestra primera vez y esperamos también encontrarlos ustedes allí. Pero bueno, para terminar ese segmento, vamos, eh, les vamos a mostrar una entrevista que tuvimos que se llevó a cabo en GBATS. Recuerden que fue un evento muy, muy bonito y nos encantó todo lo que ellos tuvieron y queremos que no, no se vaya a perder esta, esta entrevista. Well, guys, that's it for this edition of the Truck Boss Show. Remember, for all things factoring, getting your authority, compliance, and more, you can choose TBS. That's right, and don't forget we do this. Why? Because you're the boss. 